Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my bi-weekly budget number one for February. It goes from January 31st to February 13th. Um, I am super sick right now, so sorry if my voice bothers you. <laughs> it for sure bothers me, especially when I listen back to my videos. It just, ugh, is the worst. Anyways, let's just get into it. So I'm going to show you guys the numbers that I have put in right now. Um, already I do this just to keep track um, I'm super bad with like forgetting certain things like I probably would have forgotten that this was $84.88 instead of 70 so I just like to fill it in as I go and I pay them off um, especially with um, our paydays so I was budgeted to make $500 that is like my minimum that I put in there as well as my husband's 1500 so that is 2000 I made $570.71, so I made $78.71 over what I budgeted, which was nice. And then my husband made $1,540, which he, which he made $40 over budget, which was nice. Um, our total for that was $2,118.71, which we made over projected by $118.71, which was nice, because that's a little extra money. So what I've done here is I've written in all of our expenses and when, like exactly when I did them. So um, the only one that changed was our gas bill. It was $84.88, so we were over budget there by $14.88. So our total for our bills was $1,357.74. Okay. Now moving on to this section, um, I had budgeted $525 for this bi-weekly budget for expenses and cash envelopes, and that means I had projected to save $132.14. So just a heads up, if you guys didn't watch my weekly expense trackers, um, this is where the numbers come from. I track... Um, daily I'll zoom you guys out now I track daily in my monthly monthly view um, these dots represent my spending this is the template form the dots this is my weekly savings tracker um, and then I put a couple other things in there too but um, if you guys didn't watch my weekly expense tracker go watch that first and then this is just adding those first two weeks up all together. So the grocery budget we spent, uh, sorry, I'm going to turn you guys sideways so you can watch me. We spent $324.91. So we were under budget by $25.09, which is nice to be on budget for groceries. <laughs> for gas, I spent $40.00. So I still have $20 left over. Eating out, I had $25. I spent $15. So we had $10 left over. For baby, I spent $32.37. So we were over budget by $2.37. For date night, um, we haven't gone on our date night yet but I want to go, so I'm just going to pull out that money um, so I have it available. Household, I spent $15.57, so I was over budget by $5.57. My husband's spending was zero, so he has zero left over. Draw some lines. All right. And so um, I already totaled this all together just to make this video a little bit shorter, even though it'll be short already because I'm super quick at this budgeting process um, since the numbers are already done for me. So all together, I spent $477.85 out of our cash envelopes, meaning we had $47.15 remaining from our cash envelopes. Um, which is nice um, with that 
So if we subtract the income to the bills and expenses, we had one or two hundred eighty three dollars and twelve cents remaining. So that was a difference of one hundred and fifty dollars and ninety eight cents, which is nice. So out of this budget, um, I was able to put $279 towards our debt snowballs, which is our grandparents fund and my credit card. Um, so that was really good. Uh, that will be shown to in tomorrow's video when I do the cash envelope stuffing. Um, that will be awesome. So if you're ready for that, uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can get those notifications that I posted the videos and Yeah, I hope you guys like this budget. It's super simple. Nothing too crazy with decorations or anything I'm a I'm a visual learner, but if there's too many things going on It just distracts me from the purpose of the budget um, I'm also before the cash envelope video. I'm going to do um my bi-weekly budget number two. I will be uploading my bi-weekly budget number two video tomorrow as well as the cash envelope stuffing which will you will see that I unstuff my cash envelopes and restuff them. So that will be so exciting. Um, I love watching those videos so if you do as well please subscribe down below and I hope you all have a great day. See you later.